Hello, I am Mohamed Al Bahar, and today I'm going to be talking about my comeback from a downfall. Sometimes the biggest breakthrough you can make is getting back to where you were before, because we all fall behind once in a while, right? I can tell you when I fell behind: COVID, the pandemic, and I know I am not the only one. A lot of us struggled during lockdown and afterwards. Trying to get back to normal. For me, the breakthrough I had to make, the way I had to catch up and get back to normal, was about sports and fitness. Since I was very young, I've taken I've taken sports pretty seriously. I remember playing football in my backyard with my siblings at age of around five or six. Football is the first sport that I ever loved and is still my favorite sport today. Before COVID. I was in the school football and track team. I trained two to three hours a day, played in weekly football matches, and ran in track competitions. And of course, sports is all about breaking through, trying to get better and bre better, breaking your own personal records, achieving more, competing with yourself and others. Can I be stronger? Can I be faster? I remember my big breakthrough in track. In middle school, I tried out for the 100 meters race. I did not take it seriously, as I just wanted to see how fast I was. Astonishingly, I came first and was qualified to the team. And in football, about five years ago, me and my team participated in the Gothia Football International Tournament in Sweden. I remember scoring the first goal of the game, which was then ruled out by the referee. Anyways, I went on to score three more goals, which won us the game and allowed us to progress to the next round. That was breaking through for me because I was able to realize my true potential, and I still remember my coach telling me that these are the moments and memories that you should be aware of, as that's what's going to help you elevate your game, and that's what I've been doing ever since. So sports helped me physically and mentally. I always felt fit and strong, but what I did not realize is that football also helped me focus and regulate my daily routine. However. I learned this out the hard way when the COVID-19 pandemic happened. Before COVID, my daily routine was extremely busy, planned by the minute. Between schoolwork, extracurriculars, sports, and social life, I barely had time to breathe. However, I loved it because it always made me feel more productive. I would wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning to go to school, and after school, I would have my football practices and meetings. So I wouldn't be home until around 7 p.m. The weekends would be packed too. Everything would be pre-planned, which gave me a feeling of structure. Once COVID began, though, everything stopped. Worst of all, no sport for the next 16 months. I could not go to school or to the club to train or work on any community service. Nothing. Now, when it came time to plan my schedule. I got tired easily because of the limited options that I had. I ended up sitting around a lot, eating a lot more junk food, trying out new dishes, something me and my family could do together. It was a little excessive. Now I'm no scientist, but what I figured out is that it is very hard to control your food intake when food intake is now your main hobby. And remember, no football, no track. I'm not burning calories. I'm just embracing calories, welcoming calories. Absorbing calories, and remember, I started gaining more weight and more weight. By the time things started to get back to normal, I said, "Wow, that's not me. Where did I go?" The weird thing is, I really didn't notice. I would look up into the mirror and say, "Wow, there's something wrong with these clothes. I guess I needed better clothes." So finally, after so much time, football is back on, and we go back to training. And then I realized that something else is different. Did you ever try running on sand or in a swimming pool, or have you ever been chased by a monster in a dream, where you could e barely even lift your legs up? That was me. I lacked energy. I felt slow and heavy. I got tired easily, weak. My coach was very helpful and understanding. He said, "Mohammed, I realized that your muscle mass has basically just disappeared." He's a great coach. Of course, he was right, but it was very annoying because pre-COVID, I never imagined that I would lose my fitness. I thought I was born with it. As weird as it sounds, that's what I thought. 
Now when I ran, I had to stop because I was out of breath. I didn't make the starting team. This was a real shock. It woke me up. It made me realize that I had to go back to my old lifestyle. At first, it was tough because pre-COVID, I never felt like I had to work hard in order to gain my fitness. But now, I had to stop home delivery. I had to, train, I had to put an extra work of intense training. I trained seven days a week, non-stop. And even when everyone else was done with training, I kept on running laps around the pitch. I don't know how everybody here feels about pain. Personally, I don't like it. That's just me. However, there is no avoiding it if I want to be back on the first team. After two to three months, I started feeling better, more like myself, like I could actually compete with my teammates. Finally, my coach said, OK, you're starting. I was very pleased with myself, but then I thought, what if I keep going? Maybe I could reach a further level. Like when I was playing video games during lockdown, all I could think of was reaching the next level. So I started playing with the under 20 team, although I'm just 16. In the beginning, it was a bit overwhelming because I did not know what to expect. But I loved it, even though it's harder, because this was the push that my coach talked about, the trigger that elevates my game. So now I no longer just want to be part of the team. I wanted to be a starter. I wanted to be a player of the match. I wanted to break through. I competed in my first international race, a track tournament in Oman. I ran the 400 meters, also my first, and I won a gold. Coming out of COVID and everything else we went through helps me appreciate it even more. It's not just a physical win, it's also a mental win. When you do things better than you ever did it before, breaking through. For me, it's sports, but it could be anything you love doing. So whatever you love doing, try to find what elevates your game and helps you break through. Also, take it easy on home delivery. Trust me. Thank you.